be some of the state's first ever signs in two languages, a step toward recognition of the Native Americans living on tribal land. It's a new initiative spearheaded by the Nebraska Department of Transportation and Governor Jim Pillen to allow road signs to read in both English and those tribes' native tongue. 10 11's John Grinvalds has been looking into this all day, and he brings us this story tonight. Oho Hage, which means hello, friend. Nashta, which means stop. They're more than just words. If we lose our language, you know, we're going to lose our culture because our language, you know, explains everything in our culture, our rituals, a lot of our traditions. Languages spoken by the many Native American tribes of Nebraska could find permanent places on the side of roadways in those tribal lands soon, part of a new initiative by the state's Department of Transportation. If they have lakes or streams, um, the entrance to the community, their population sign. So signs like this one in Northeast Lincoln. If it were on Native American land, it could feature both the tribal language and English. Native leaders will have to submit what they want on the signs and then end up will get the process rolling. Tribes will have to foot the bill for the signs, which can vary depending on size, but NDOT will install them. Some tell me it's a step in the right direction from a state and country that suppressed these languages for so long. There's only about five fluent elders that speak the language now. And some say it's been a long time coming. Because the Omaha tribe of Nebraska is on sovereign land, it should already have been a given. From when those requests get submitted to when the signs get installed could be a matter of a couple of months. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.